part of the taste test video now, so come along for the ride. Wait, so why are you here drinking beer? And what are we, what's the rules here? Because you have some, what is this, 20 days going where you haven't drank? Okay, it's 18. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I am doing dry January, but I'm also a grown ass adult woman who can make my own rules. So I'm just <laughs> going to slightly taste some of the beer. I am not going to, like, look, okay, first we're doing like little tasters. My line is halfway filled. And you're not even going to drink all that. I'm not going to have like maybe two sips max if I can't get the taste out of the first one. Okay. So you're going to get the taste out of these because one of these bad boys is 15%. Um, that's the Ribs Russian Imperial. Stout, that is a gold medal winner. Do you know um, why it's called ribs? I do not. Oh, I don't know if it was like an Adam and Eve thing because you know, it's it's definitely like, not oh, that. okay. <laughs> All right, fine, it's whatever. Go ahead. Okay, I'm like, I'm a little nervous because you said it's 15%. Yeah, there's a 15, but there's let, no, let's not let's not attack with the 15. Start with the eight. I think it's eight. So let's do that one. I don't know, I feel like we should go strong. You should never do that. Mm -mm. Let's start with the eight. Okay. All right. So this is called Hoppy Darkness. Again, this is uh, ZT Brewing. So let's give it a go. Cheers. And just for the record, I could handle starting at 15%. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. It's a stout, so... I but I thought it was going to be so much more hop. Like, I was nervous because hoppy is in the title, and if you have been paying attention, I don't like IPAs or a lot of hop. Yeah. But for having hoppy in the title, it's very subtle, but that darkness is... And we think it's a stout. So Zeke, just let us know if we're wrong. I mean... In the comments. The color... The color looks like a stout. <laughs> the only other thing it could be is a porter, so... <laughs> we're not that dumb. I know we're Instagrammers, but we're not that dumb. <laughs> I have my moments. Cheers. Got a really good aroma. I might be sick. I can't smell shit. That's sick. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, I'm not sick. I can taste it. <laughs> I like it a lot a because I like it. I'm starting to like, and I maybe it's because... I think it might have something to do with some of the master brewers we've visited with and who've kind of walked us through like what to look for in a beer. I like the, you can taste the profile really well. Like you can really taste what this is supposed to be and it's not masked in something. It just tastes like good beer. I thought it was going to be more hoppier, yeah. which as you know, by now, I'm not really a fan of hoppy. But that has like a slight hoppy too. A punch. Just, I yeah. think it's like a slight, like it's more like a... <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can really lean into it too. It's just going to be like a tight leg. But no, you just went for it. But the darkness, I, it really is, um, for 8%, I, this is very drinkable for me. I, It's light and smooth. It doesn't even feel heavy, which... I'm a fan of because the heavier the beer, the more I can't eat and the more I can't drink. So that's a problem for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just good. I like it. Nice. All right. Next one. Yeah. Okay. Next one we got is a Russian Imperial bourbon barrel stout called the ribs. So there's where your ribs comes from. A Russian Imperial bourbon barrel stout. Get it? Oh, I do get it. Is it 15%? <laughs> yes. I think it's a little baby one. Ooh, that is uh, a strong. Yeah, baby. That... <laughs> I, didn't I didn't taste it. I just smelled it. But that's a strong... This is delicious. <laughs> They're both really good. But this has got, I mean, this, the barrel aging on this is amazing. It's nice and chocolatey. It's thick. It's, this is an ass kicker. It is, um. To me, it's so slightly, slightly slicker. <laughs> slicker? But, oh, God. Thicker than a snicker? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm like, I just had one drink. <laughs> yeah. That's what dry January will do to you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First of all, yes, I am doing dry January, but I'm a grown-ass woman who can make up her own rules, and two sips does not count as anything. Well, I'm, in my rule book. So. I'm stoked for that because that means I get to drink most of this. You are drinking most of this. I don't even think I could drink a whole bottle of that without like well, landing on my ass. Yeah. 
Um, we got a bunch of stickers too, so Zeke is a sticker swapper, so make sure you're doing that. Um, we have stickers. We've I sent out like 20, maybe 30 yesterday, so please, if you have not gotten stickers, I try to get the whole list, but make sure that you're telling us we're good with that. Um, and I cannot stress this enough that if you do not get your stickers, it's not because of me. I am doing nothing. You're working on an event calendar, so why don't you tell them about that? Oh, yeah. You guys should check out the event calendar. RomeoandPrelia.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, now I'm officially stalking every um, brewery that we follow and just keeping an eye out for events and top releases that I think are going to be fun and entertaining. We're going to a few. Um, what have we got? Let's see. On January 25th, we're going to Two Hound Red. For their Italian inspired dinner. Okay. Uh, and then for those who might be watching this video a little later in the month, we are going uh, to Elmhurst Brew Co. on February 15th for their dinner. And oh. we, go ahead, sorry. And for those who still can't get enough to eat <laughs> and drink, there is also a Chilean stout night on February, is it 10th uh, or 4th? We'll get back to you on that. If I feel like the fourth. I feel like it's the fourth too. We'll get you the right date. It'll be in the comments or in the, the right. Or just go check out the website or go check out the stories I post or just check out our Instagram. Like I post everything for you. Or just go to chaos. I work um, hard. You can walk in the chaos. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, um, just check them out. Like there's so many knowledgeable people, knowledgeable people there. Um, we're actually signing up to brew. Um, I've got a recipe that I picked out, and Provog from Chaos is going to help me hopefully not mess that up too hard because I have not brewed a lot of beer in my life. But um, check out those guys. Like, they're super awesome. The community's awesome. Like, if you like beer and you live near us, then that's your place to go. And we will be at Go Brewing and Workforce Saturday. Yes, because I'm doing Dry January. So she's trying her best to stay true. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we'll keep letting you guys know where we're at. So if anybody wants to hang out, we're cool with it. We're pretty normal. Mm, I don't know about that, but we're all right. <laughs> I'd say we're fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no shortage of fun. So yeah, check us out at all those different things, whatever. Um, DM us if you're interested in doing some stuff. We're not shy. All right, guys. That's the end of this episode because we have to go watch some Doctor Who because I got him addicted. Well, I got to finish this beer first. So. You can you can finish it while watching Doctor Who. We're on the David Tennant season now. Okay, grab your this beer time. and cheers me and let's say goodbye. And cheers. Adios. Parting is such sweet sorrow.